Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at creating a vanilla web component. So no libraries involved, no, no Polymer or Skate or Stencil or, or any of the other frameworks that help you uh, put these together. So just plain old uh, JavaScript. So nothing, nothing to install, just need um, an editor here and let's jump in. So first thing I need is a uh, file for my component um, called app my app. My app will be the component. So myapp.js. Right to to define a component, we need a class. Uh, let's pass my app that extends uh, HTML element. Okay. Um, we will want a constructor in here. Does the age old call to super? Now, to give your components um, its visual appearance, we need to um, create the, um, the elements that are going to show that. Now, we can use Shadow DOM for this. Um, so if I create a variable shadow and say this dot attach shadow, um, and give it the parameters mode open. Then that will attach some shadow DOM to our component and we can then add elements to that. So then also create um, an element. Uh, this dot create element. And for this one, We'll just create plain div and then say in HTML of that this is my component. Okay. And then we can insert that div into our shadow DOM. Um, so shadow pen child and Simply give that our, um, our elements. Okay, so in terms of a very basic component with no properties or events or anything, that is what we need in um, in JavaScript. We can we then need to register the custom element. So we do custom elements dot define. Um, we give it our element name with a hyphen in between. And we also give the class name as well. Okay, so that should be the element. I'll put a couple of statements in here just in case we have problems. Constructor called. Uh, and connected callback is another um, event that custom elements fire when when the element is um, upgraded into a to its proper form. This event will fire. Um, so it's good to have that on there just so we know that the element has been created successfully. Connected call back in booked that. Okay, so let's create a index HTML. Right to display our component then we need to import it so we'll have a script 
and in there we'll import my app and then we should just be able to use my app like so okay okay so let's give that a try to see what we get first off and then I start up server bring this over so we're on 8080 let's have a look what error we got this dot create element is not a function uh, yes that should be document Okay, there we go. Right, so you can see that has displayed our text there. Um, and we've got a constructor called and callback called. So that is the absolute bare bones skeleton um, um, web component. Now, this is in uh, Google at the moment. Let's try it in Edge. So I'll go to local host and have a look in there. We will find can refresh for me. Custom elements is not defined. So low web components standard has been around forever and it's is in Google Chrome, it's in Firefox, I think it's in Safari now. Edge still doesn't have support for it. Um, so we are going to need a poi fill there. Um, so we can pull in a web components, web components JS. I should say that. And this will give us the polyfill to enable it in Edge. Um, so what I will need to do is simply come in here and pull in that script. Go to Node, Web Components, Components JS, Web. There's actually um, there's a lot of files in here in terms, in terms of how much if you want the full functionality or just little bits or pick and choose. If we you pull in the web components loader, that works a lot of this out for you in terms of which um, uh, which script to pull in. I think this for, for Edge will pull in web components high or something. Let's have a look. And so I save that off and refresh now. Full refresh, there we go. So yeah, so in Edge, we're now getting our component coming up okay. So with this, you know, with this polyfill in place, we've got good coverage of the browsers. Um, Edge is looking to implement these soon. Certainly Shadow DOM, I think is underway. Custom elements they're considering, but they're, they're gonna do it, it's just when. Um, now, the only other browser you've got an issue with then is IE 11, and to support that, it's a little bit more work. Um, because IE 11 doesn't understand ES 2015, we need to transpile this down to ES 5, um, which then breaks it in the modern browsers. Um, so then there's another uh, shim that you need to do. So I might, do a, I might do an episode on that at some point, but um, you know, for all modern evergreen browsers, that is, um, that is all you need. All right, thanks very much.